All right, so some thoughts on the Spartan race today. Uh, not good. Um, it was not a good race from a competition standpoint. Um, my time was well over three hours um, to run 10K. Um, calves blew up about two thirds of the race and just every obstacle after that cramped uh, severely. Um, at one point, paramedics were standing over me going, hey, just give the word, we'll pull you off the course. Um, you know, we'll, if you keep going, we'll see you at the next obstacle. And I told the guy, no, you're gonna see me at the finish line. And he did. As After I crossed the finish line, got the medal, I, you know, went over to the medical tent, there he was, and showed him the medal, shook his hand and everything, but yeah, overall, the race was not great. Um, I got the medal, I crossed the finish line, but uh, there were a bunch of obstacles that I had to skip. Didn't get the burpees in, because again, the calves were just blown right up. Uh, you know, the, for the monkey bars, for example, the, and this was a real bad one, I stood on the podium, went to grab the monkey bars. As soon as I lifted my leg, toast she snapped and it took like four people helping me stretch it out for 10 minutes to get it back to the point where I could even walk on it uh so just yeah overall from a physical standpoint not a good race it still got done um where I can hold my head high is that I didn't give in to any of the pain um you know sure it took a few minutes to walk off each cramp but uh, I still made it through the finish line. I still just kept going no matter what. Um, yeah, it, it, you know, there's that. At least I can hold that, uh, hold my head high on that aspect. Um, you know, the medal will go on the wall all the same, just as a reminder of that. But, yeah, I'm going to have to run this particular race back again at some point probably next year um just so i can actually get through everything do the obstacles the way they were meant to be done do the burpees if i need to um do all of it so we'll be running this race back uh you know tonight is all about stretching everything out um the calves just smashing them out you know rehydrating getting electrolytes and magnesium and potassium in um got a strategy in place for tomorrow I'm gonna tape the shit out of them with KT tape we'll see how that goes um, yeah 5k race tomorrow so half the distance um, 20 obstacles so there's only five fewer obstacles that I'll have to do um, you know we'll see I expect to struggle on the same ones that I struggled with today but hopefully I can mitigate the cramping with um, everything else that I'm doing so We'll see. I'll give you guys another update tomorrow uh, after everything's done. And, you know, we'll see how it goes. Um, overall, though, good prep for Ironman. Really good prep for Ironman because it exposes a bunch of weaknesses that I had that I need to work on and conquer before I actually run Waco. So it'll be good for that aspect, at least. You know, learning experience, learning physically what I'm going to be able to do and you know there's still no doubt in my mind that I'll be able to accomplish Ironman but just how I adjust nutrition and race day nutrition and everything like that um you know that'll be something that I now know going in so I'm not going in entirely blind so anyway uh stay savage guys go for the runs you know I'll I look forward to hearing all of your exploits and uh, like i said i'll update you guys tomorrow after we see how that one went peace out